Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today's session is going to be for our advanced level players aged 11 to 14 and the topic will be transition to attack in midfield. For our warm up we're going to set up 4 12 by 12 boxes as shown in the diagram and evenly divide your players throughout the boxes where they must stay. Each player will be given a number so that each box has a number 1 and 2 and so on. To begin with the players must simply pass around their boxes, ask them to simulate the shape of a defence or a midfield, assign them a position if needed. Show them how to remove and receive the ball outside their box. Coach will then call a number and that number becomes a defender within the square. They collect a second ball from the outside and try and hit the main ball that is going around in the box. The other players will try and keep the ball away from them and ask the players to try and complete 3-5 to five passes around the defender at this point. To progress this you can ask the defender whose number is called to enter the opposite square and try and hit their ball. Your final progression will be ask the defender to go and retrieve the opposite ball thus becoming a live defender. Making it easier you can make the squares bigger and making it harder you can start to minimise touches and allow a maximum of 4, 3 or 2 touches on the ball. The first coaching point is composure and you can read about this on the plan. And in our technical element of the session we're going to play a 24 by 24 yard grid with a small goal at each end. There's going to be two neutral players operating along the sidelines. Divide the rest of your team into twos. These teams will rotate in and out of a 2v2 situation. You will have teams waiting at each end of the field and if a team scores they will turn around and defend against a new team. If a team is scored on they will leave the field. Both can use the outside neutral players to maintain possession and these neutrals cannot be tackled. Making it easy you can add a neutral player to the centre of the game. Making it harder you can start to minimise touches. Allow only 4, 3 or 2 touches on the ball. The coaching point here is decision making and you can read about this on the plan. Our tactical element is also in a 24 by 24 yard grid with a 12 by 24 yard flank on each side. Three small goals at each end, we're going to play 5v5 or 6v6. Each team must assign one player to each flank where they will stay. That will leave a 3v3 or a 4v4 in the middle. One central player from the team with possession can join the flanker only when the ball goes into the flank. Everyone else must stay out. This will create a 2v1 on the side for the attacking team. Making it easy you can allow the flankers to begin the game unopposed, meaning the opposition flanker can't take the ball. Making it harder you can allow a defensive player to join the flank to make it a 2v2. The coaching point here is holding position and you can read about this on the plan. And at the end of our session it's small sided game time. We suggest playing 5v5 and try and keep all the players engaged. We suggest playing no goalkeepers in the use of small goals to encourage accurate shots. In order to create plenty of coaching moments we also suggest setting formations and having equal teams. And we also advise that you should allow players to enjoy the scrimmage under no conditions. Making it real we're going to assign positions, set a formation and help players understand their role. There's a coaching summary on the session plan that you should definitely familiarise yourself with. And thank you very much for watching and for more of these please visit us on YouTube or visit p2.soccer.